Hi, my name is Caden Dunn, and my partner is Brett Marine, and we have Chief Justice Earl Warren in the court case of Whitney v. California. Earl Warren was born on March 19, 1891 in Los Angeles, California, to father Matthias H. Warren and mother Crystal Hernland. Earl Warren grew up in Bakersfield, where he attended Washington Junior High and Kern County High School. In 1912, Earl Warren graduated with a B.A. in political science from the University of California, Berkeley, and then earned his J.D. at University of California, Berkeley School of Law. In August of 1917, Warren enlisted in the U.S. Army for World War I service. A year later, he was then discharged. After the war, he served in the Judicial Committee for the 1919 session of the California State Assembly. He then served as the Deputy City Attorney in Oakland, California. In 1925, Warren was appointed as the District Attorney of Alameda County and was in office from 1925 to 1939. He was then chair of the California Republican Party and was in office from 1932 to 1934. In 1942, Warren ran for the governor of California as a Republican and was elected on November 3, 1942. In the year of 1953, Warren was nominated and then appointed by Dwight D. Eisenhower to be the 14th Chief Justice of the United States on October 5, 1953. He was Chief Justice until June 23, 1969, and was then finally retired. After five years of retirement, Earl Warren died at Georgetown University Hospital in Washington, D.C. on July 9, 1974. He was 85 years old. On December 5, 2007, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger inducted Earl Warren into the California Hall of Fame. Earl Warren was remembered for his numerous rulings on many case scenes during his time. Whitney v. California was originally argued on October 6, 1925 in California. Charlotte Anita Whitney was a member of a distinguished California family and William H. Taft was the Chief Justice who made the deciding vote. She was convicted under the 1919 California Criminal Syndicalism Act. She allegedly was helping establish the Communist Labor Party of America. The Communist Labor Party of America was a group charged by the state with teaching the violent overthrow of government. The case was brought to the Supreme Court because it was decided whether the 1919 Criminal Syndicalism Act of California violated 14th Amendment's due process and equal protection clauses. Whitney denied that it has been the intention of her or other organizers for the party to become an instrument of violence. The court held that the state, in exercise of its police power, has the power to punish those who abuse their rights to freedom of speech. Whitney was eventually found guilty along with her other members and organizers of the party who were involved. 